please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Cosine similarity is a metric used to measure how similar two vectors are irrespective of their size. It is widely used in various applications such as text mining, document similarity analysis, and recommendation systems. In this tutorial, we will explore how to calculate cosine similarity for large data sets in Python. Cosine similarity is calculated based on the cosine of the angle between two vectors. It ranges from minus 1, completely dissimilar, to 1, completely similar. For two vectors A and B, the cosine similarity, cos underscore sim, is calculated as cos underscore sim, AB, equals AB, AB. We will use the scikit-learn library for vectorization and cosine similarity calculation. If you don't have it installed, you can install it using. Let's create a simple example with a large data set of documents. We'll vectorize the documents using TFIDF, term frequency inverse document frequency, and calculate cosine similarity. In this example, we use the TFIT vectorizer to convert the documents into TFIDF vectors. Then, we calculate the cosine similarity matrix using cosine underscore similarity from scikit-learn. For large data sets, memory usage can be a concern. To handle large data efficiently, consider using sparse matrices. The SciP library provides efficient sparse matrix implementations. Modify the code as follows. By using sparse matrices, you can significantly reduce memory requirements for large data sets. In this tutorial, we've covered the basics of cosine similarity and demonstrated how to calculate it for large data sets in Python using the scikit-learn library. The example provided can be adapted for various applications such as text mining, recommendation systems, and more. Chat GPT